School is back in session in Pasco County tomorrow, and students in that district are returning to school at different times now. Last year, district officials voted to adjust school start times to deal with a bus driver shortage. Eight on your sides, Chip Osowski is live from Trinity Oaks Elementary with what parents can expect tomorrow. Chip? Well, good afternoon to you, Stacy. Students here at Trinity Oaks Elementary are actually going to be beginning class 30 minutes later than they did last year. And even if you don't have a student who attends a Pasco County school, the change in school start times could affect your commute. If you're driving tomorrow morning to work uh, at, your, at your normal time, uh, you may see buses on the roads with their uh, yellow and red uh, flashers on. School Superintendent Kurt Browning tells Aid on Your Side, despite the preparations and the repeated calls and emails to parents about the school start times changing, he knows there are going to be some issues. I think that the hiccup that we know that we're going to have is parents that have uh, not read heard or seen about the time change. Today it was back to school for bus drivers learning their new routes. School board members voted to adjust the school start times to deal with the bus driver shortage. By doing so, the district can use fewer drivers to cover more routes. Superintendent Browning has said all along it is an imperfect solution. We had some kids arriving to school over an hour late, and that's that's lost instructional minutes, and we can't afford to have our kids missing out educationally on this. So that's the reason we were prompted in order to do this. Because buses will be on the road earlier in the morning and later in the afternoon, you might spot them on the road at times you hadn't in the past. And in addition to school start times changing, parents may be having questions about the rising COVID numbers. Coming up at 530, hear what the superintendent has to say about that. Stacy. All right, Chip.